Alright guys, this is my um, do-it-yourself canister filter slash sump that I made copying the Fluoval FX5 or FX6. The idea is that they're using a 5 gallon um, I guess bucket. So I got this 5 gallon bucket from like Lowe's for 2 bucks. It's that bucket where people mix paint and whatnot and and um, they have in different colors I just chose the gray one because it looks like the FX5 so how I have it is I have the one inch overflow PVC, PVC pipe this is just a typical PVC uh, overflow that people built going into the bucket going back up this is just for effect it doesn't have to have this normally I do have a cover on it but you know you guys won't even see it if I do so it's being filtered through fabric polyester fabric but uh, fabric and um, these are my media just pop scrubbers I also do have um, 50, about 50 it's about 50 of these and 50 of the bio balls but they're um, underneath everything so this is connected to a pump it's the aqua top I believe 306 pumping at 496 gallons an hour so how I have it set up is it's actually in another bucket it's in a milk jug actually it's about this high uh, reason why is because if I don't have that, the pump is actually pumping so fast because I only have one overflow. It's pumping so fast. Every time I do turn it on, it just sucks the water all the way to the bottom. So the media has no water to submerge in. Um, therefore, no bacteria will grow on them. Well, so I do have it about this high, about, I would say, three, four, however tall. Unfortunately, you can't really see it. I'll do my best to show it to you guys. Uh, unfortunately, you guys can't see it, but this is the top of... Um, the milk jug and it's pumping straight back into a this is a three fourth inch uh, pipe I chose the thinner one because like I say the pump is pumping so fast the water is just being sucked out so fast if there's not enough water in it it's just making a lot of um, the sucking sound the gurgling sounds and um, you know I can't really sleep this is my bed can't really sl uh, sleep with that on so I have it pumped right back into the tank to the other side let me show you guys here which is touching the water a little bit and it's making the bubble it's going about I said about halfway down with the 55 gallon tank and um, it would be pumping faster uh, like I say if I had a better overflow uh, or, or another overflow uh, most people actually have two or three uh, um, I only have one for now I could build another but like I said this is my 55 gallon so I don't think I need another one but here's a demonstration if I do turn it off um, I guess a lot of concern is that it will overflow the bucket or overflow the tank. So let me turn it off and demonstrate. So now the pump is off. I don't know if you can hear that. The pump is off. So right now the water again still being siphoning through the overflow right back into the bucket. Likewise as this, since it is touching the water uh, just a little bit. But, oh, I don't know if you can see. It's siphoning and it stops because it touched water. I mean, it touched air, excuse me. Once it touched air, the siphoning does stop, as well as this, uh, this side right here. It will stop as soon as the water levels out. That's what the ov overflow does. And let me see if we can focus. There we go. And the putt scrubber has flown up. Uh, to pretty much the edge just because I do have the water at that level if you take some water out it won't it won't, it won't get anywhere near there this way it will never um, overflow and let me turn it back on to let me show to show you guys how fast the flow could be since this is full of water the um, the pump will perform at maximum capacity at the beginning since it is full of water I'll show you guys oh, it's too dark sorry about that but if you can see it here, it's actually full of water. But let me focus over here. This way you guys can see how fast the flow actually is. If I turn it on. All right. There you go. Like I say, it pretty much almost touched the bottom because it's how fast it would be performing if the overflow um, can match its speed. And like I said, unfortunately, I only have one, but it's okay. 
I only have three fish in here. Um, yeah, yeah, this is 55 gallon. I should only have one Oscar. I shouldn't even have an arowana in here. But it's okay. I have a lot more tanks. They're just growing out right now. I have a lot more tanks. And I'm doing a 600 gallon build. Excuse me, 575 gallon build. To house these guys when they're a little bigger. And yeah, this is my attempt at the Slow Val FX6, FX5. Um, that product itself is about 350, 360, 400 sometimes. Uh, this bucket is two bucks. Um, Ten foot of the PVC pipes, one inch, like one something, two bucks. Let's say two bucks. Also, ten uh, ten feet of the three fourth inch, close to two bucks. You know, they're about the same price. A little air valve I got from Walmart, like a dollar. Um, pot scrubbers I got them from Dollar Tree. It's coming six uh, six for a dollar. Um, I got the fifty bow balls for for five bucks. So overall, I didn't spend that much at all. Um, nowhere close to how much this would cost. The pumps um, watts is about thirty six. Um, so it's not pumping. You know, it's not using that much energy either. And I guess the concern will be that there could be algae growing here. Well, that's true, but I do turn it off, turn the pump off every time I feed my fish, so it recycles itself, um, shoving everything out that's in the tank, uh, that's in the pipe. So hopefully that will keep the algae out. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment and let me know if I can improve on anything. All right, thank you.